Alright, so the first step into our descent into madness is to select all the files. All of these will be linked in the description, except for the main game files. Um, the 2.6 files, this will be in a separate link. So you want to select all of the files, right click, and then click extract each archive to a separate folder. It's going to take roughly about 5 minutes. Now that the files are done extracting, you can just de delete the zip files, so I'm just going to do that right now. Now what I recommend doing is opening a new uh, window for File Explorer. So what I'm going to do is go down here, right click, File Explorer, and open up a new window. And then I'm just going to copy the directory. Okay. So now what you want to do is go into Grass Cutter 2.6. And then you'll all look like this. So what you want to do now is go into the grass cutter one folder and you want to copy this jar file and paste it in here. Next thing you want to do is go back into your folder that has all your subfolders. And then you want to go to the GCVS file folder. And then you just want to copy all of these and paste them in here into the grass cutters 2.6 file. Okay, so now that the files are copied over, you want to go into the resources folder and then you want to delete these, the ones already inside that after you copy them, delete these. Now that these files are deleted, you want to go back to the folder that has all the subfolders and then you want to go to grass cutter resources 2.6 and then you want to go into here until you find the same exact files you want to copy these over. Okay, so now that the folders are copied over, you want to go back into this main directory that has the jar file, and then you want to go up to the directory, you want to click up here, where it's highlighted, and then you want to type in cmd and hit enter, which will open up this command prompt. So now, what you want to do is type in this little command here, Java dash jar grass cutter dot jar and then hit enter and it shouldn't give you any errors it should look just like this if it doesn't look just like this if you're getting errors go back restart make sure you're doing everything um, in the right order and as you can see there's no red text all of it is blue if you have any red text go back redo the steps make sure you copy everything over and deleted the previous files once this is done, you can just exit out of this. Okay, so now um, going back into the folder that has cultivation installed, you want to install some MSI. So next, and make sure you remember the directory that cultivation is being installed in because it will be important for next step. So next, install, yes, and then launch cultivation. So now that you have installed, it's going to prompt you to install a proxy certification. Um, just say yes. Next, uh, towards the very top, in, the, in about the middle, you're going to see a silhouette of a question mark. So you want to triple click it. And you should see a little animation go off. So next you want to go into main games files. Um, right click on the exe. And then in the target directory, um, right outside of the quotation marks, you want to paste in this little um, command here. And then you want to go up to the com compatibility, and then you can go to change settings for all users, or you can just click run as uh, program as administrator. But what I did is change it for all users, check to run this program as an administrator, hit yes, and then hit apply. So the next thing you want to do is go back into your settings and then you want to set your game's path, your game's install path to the same shortcut. So you want to double click on the shortcut. Now you want to go back into the main, the, the folder where all the files, go into Melon and then copy those files and then paste them into the directory that has all the game files.
So now you've done that, you want to go back into the um, file with all the files and then go into camera tools, copy the file, go into mods, and then you want to paste it in. It's going to prompt you to uh, replace the file in destination and then hit yes. So now back in the cultivation, uh, what you want to do is um, uncheck automatically match metadata. It's not going to work if you don't have it regardless. You want to set the game's jar file. So what you want to do is click on it. And then you, you want to go into grass cutter um, dash 2.6 and then set it to the same jar file that we um, put in earlier. So also make sure that uh, toggle encryption is turned off and you can also check um, automatically launch grass cutter with game. So now you want to click on um, connect via grass cutter and you want to set the IP to localhost and the port number to 443. And once you do that, you want to click on this little server icon here, which will launch, which will set up your proxy. So it should just, it should look just like this. Um, no red text. If you have red text, go back and um, redo steps. So you want to minimize it. And then you can also minimize um, cultivation. And so now um, you want to go into the directory that cultivation was um, installed in. So for me, it was C, program files, and cultivation. And now that you're in this directory, you want to hold hold Alt. And while you're holding Alt, press F, S, and A. And then it will open up this little um, Windows PowerShell as an administrator. Then you want to paste in this little command here. And then now if you go into your settings uh, for your Wi-Fi, you should be able to see your proxy that a proxy is being used. So now you want to go back in the main game's files, right click on the shortcut and launch it as an administrator. So once the game's open, it should automatically um, it should automatically prompt you for login. If it doesn't do it automatically, like instantly, you want to go back and make sure your proxies are turned off. So you want to redo the command prompt, and you also want to go back and redo the little PowerShell script or little PowerShell uh, command. So now you've done that, you want to go back into um, the command prompt. Type in account create followed by something random. So here I'm just going to type in homeboy and then you also want to follow the username with a uh, um, UID. So just um, four letters, four numbers. Now you want to go back into uh, Genshin and then type in username and then the password will be literally anything. Um, you can just, I literally just put an A here and it's going to prompt you for um, to greet your terms as first is. So I'm just going to check and then I'm going to accept it. Then you will see that your little username is going to prompt. It's going to say welcome and then username. Then there's a whole little intro little thing here. And then it's going to ask you to select a twin. So here I'm just going to select him and then type in a um, username. And then once we do that, I'm going to select confirm. Cutscene again. And now that you're in it, now you're in the game. First thing you want to do is hit F9, which will inject the uh, camera script. And then once you press F9, you want to press insert, and that will put you into free cam. And you will notice that by default, the keys uh, to move the camera around is I, L, J, and K. Um, the full list of the hotkeys will be link linked in the description. Now you want to reopen the command prompt. And you want to type in um, target followed by the UID that you put in for your account. So I'm going to put in target and then my UID and it will tell you that um, all the following commands will be targeting your account. And next here you want to type in give all and it will give all the heroes and all the weapons to your account. And it will also raise your um, adventure rank to level 34 I believe. So as you can see, you unlocked all the um, characters, outfits, all the locations will be unlocked. Um, um, as you can see, all the locations are unlocked. You can teleport to anywhere on the map. 
So as you can see, your adventure rank is 34, which is still not enough for some of the areas, some of the bosses, some of the dungeons. So you want to go in, you want to go back into the command prompt, and then you want to type in this little command here. So you want to type in, type give 102, and then X followed by a couple nines. And now if you go back in Genshin, and then you recheck your adventure rank, you will see that it went up. So because I wasn't um, level um, adventure rank 60, so I'm just going to do it again. And now, um, going back in the game, I am level, I am adventuring 60.